Hey guys, this is Rusted Root Farms. It's July 3rd, and I got a special treat for you this time. We have been working on the greenhouse once again, trying to beat this heat, and we've done something a little radical. Um, in my past videos, as you know, I've upgraded the ventilation a couple of times just to try and move some air through here, even more air than it was before. And it still wasn't enough. It was, it was getting 106. When it was 90 degrees outside, it was still 106, and we were moving that air through here. So, we've decided to screen in one end of the greenhouse, and I'm telling you, it made a huge difference. And it didn't cost that much either, but it was a lot of labor. So I just wanted to show this to you right quick. This is, uh, uh, they call it patio and pool screening. So it's six feet tall. It comes on a roll that's six feet tall. And um, you can get these rails that it hooks into from Lowe's uh, or Home Depot. And they're plastic. So the good thing about that is that they, they bend with the contour of the greenhouse. So you can kind of screw them into your, uh, your metal hoops as you go up and it gives you a channel to put your screen into, just like your uh, windows on your house. If you got windows that have this kind of screen in them, it works the same way. There's a, there's a little spline that kind of fits inside the channel and then holds the screen in place. And that will exclude the, the insects for us and, uh, and keep this whole entire wall open during the summer months. And uh, of course, during the winter, uh, we'll close it back up. We've got some plastic that we'll use to to close it back up. But I just wanted to do a quick video on this. We're we're really happy with the way it turned out, even though it was a lot of work. I think it was well worth it. It's so much cooler in here, and uh, we don't have bugs. And we can keep them out. And uh, that's one thing I wanted to do from the very start. You don't see the sidewalls on this greenhouse as being um, able to be rolled up, and I did that on purpose because I don't want anything to get in here and chew my plants up and even even with all the precautions that we've taken you can still see some have suffered a little bit where is it i was just seeing one today that had been chewed so something still got in here and and ate these plants a little bit well, there's a little bit not really much but there is one there's a couple of them that have been chewed by something so even with all the precautions that we've taken stuff still gets in here and and bites on them a little bit but what i wanted from the start is a greenhouse that's completely controlled insect wise with no pesticides i don't want to use any pesticides i want to keep them out using excluders and uh, obviously the walls of the greenhouse just as a barrier so any kind of barriers i can throw up that's what we're going to do and this is a pretty tight barrier it goes all the way down gravel is piled down at the bottom so that uh, it makes kind of a seal with the screen so uh we're pretty happy with it, and uh, like I said, I just wanted to show it off a little bit in the video. And uh, if you got any questions about it, then as usual, let me know. Take care. Happy Fourth of July.